Sports was not in my line of sight as a career because I actually grew up dancing all my life. That was my career path. And then once I got injured, unfortunately, I had to choose a different career. And the only thing I knew was sports because if I wasn't dancing, I was sitting on that couch watching everything from hockey to football because I grew up in a New England family. Um, it was nonstop Bruins or Patriots or Red Sox or Celtics. That's what we were watching on any given night. And so I went to a broadcasting school and I interned at MRN Radio because I'm a huge NASCAR fan right there in Daytona. So I got everything I needed and everything I loved. And then once I got married, we got stationed here in Jacksonville and found this beautiful little station of 1010XL. He loves to hear this, but I have one person to thank, and that person is Rick Ballou. Um, my maiden name is Ballou, and so he was kind of my in. And so I emailed Rick, because uh, I didn't really know that there was any other Ballous in the Jacksonville area. And so I said, hey, I'm a Ballou, you're a Ballou. Um, I really want to know what's going on over there at 1010XL, I'm into sports and I would love to kind of, you know, get into the game. And so he met me and went over my resume. Little did I know he had no say at this station, <laughs> but you know, he, you know, appeased me and, you know, met with me and, you know, we talked shop and little did I know he was from Massachusetts and I'm from Rhode Island. So um, we're true Bostonians at heart together. So, you know, we matched well and, um, he came back to the station and threw my resume on the desk and said, you need to hire her. Uh, at least that's what he says. So I, you know, thank every day that he went to bat for me. And then I came back here and, you know, got hired as the first female for 1010XL. I had really no background, no history um, in radio. I had a little, very, very, very little bit at, a, at another station. Um, but I have sports knowledge. I have love in my heart for this and uh, I'm a hard worker and I'm ready to listen. I'm ready to learn and I can definitely take criticism um, and turn it around and make myself better. And I'm willing to do any job here. And that's what I did. I started as a producer at, and I think I've done every show here. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, so I'm ready to do anything and that's what they heard and that's what they hired me to do. And I've worked weekends, I've worked nights, I've worked very early mornings. Um, I've worked everything from Jaguar games to, you know, whatever the weekend shift happened to be to whatever um, a high school game needed to be. So I was ready. and makes me so proud to see all the females now that have come through here and the general manager Steve Griffin brought us in me and, and Lauren and Jessica Blaylock and, and Blythe brought us into the meeting and said you know he wanted to start an all-female sports show we were so surprised and yet so honored and a little bit nervous because we didn't know how Jacksonville you know would probably take to us um, and at first it started off a little bit slow, um, but it really wasn't as negative as we thought it would be because there's a lot of NFL markets out there that this probably would not do well in. Um, but Jacksonville has really embraced us going into our eighth year and they have really taken to us and it's so much fun. And we have seen so many females come on our show and just getting gone. They, they leave because it got so much better and they and they've embraced you know this talent and they go off and do bigger and better things and that's what helmets and heels is supposed to do 
and it's wonderful just to see the growth and 1010 XL is family. We are a small radio station, we're a powerful radio station, but it's family. Everybody here gets along, we haven't had any issues here. It's not like a big business, it's, it's small and fun and I love coming to work every day. I, everybody says hi to everyone <laughs> routinely throughout the day when you're in, in the hallway. It, it may be a big building, but and you can ask everybody, no matter how many times you walk down the hallway, <laughs> no matter what time it is, everybody will say hello. And it's just wonderful. And we talk to each other in each other's offices and about different topics and still about sports or about family or about whatever's going on in the world. And everyone just gets along and it's just wonderful. We have such a core group here and it's so much laughter and so much love and I love it.